So we have a real world example six, use a vector projection to find a force. So we're told that we have a car that weighs 3,000 pounds and it is sitting on a hill. So an incline at 30 degrees. So if we were to draw this, we have a hill, we have an angle of 30 degrees, and we have a car that's sitting on a hill. So we need to find the amount of force that we need to push to stop this car falling or rolling down the hill. So the force, which is going to be with gravity, pushing down, is going to be, because it's down, it's going to be negative 3,000. This is zero. So we're going to have a vector we're going to call F, which is zero and minus 3,000. So we need to project, so we're going to have a vector here, which is going to be the projection of F onto V. So this is going to be V, which is our unit vector. So a unit vector has a magnitude or length of 1. So we're going to project the force onto V so we can actually see how much force we need to push here against the car to stop it rolling down the hill. So using the unit vector, so we're going to use cosine of the angle and then the unit vector multiplied by sine of the angle. Now our unit vector is 1. So this is going to be 1 multiplied by cosine. The angle in the question is 30. And this is going to be 1 multiplied by sine of 30. So if we simplify this and work it out in our calculator, cosine of 30, okay, or we can use the unit circle we should know is 3 over 2, and sine of 30 is going to be a half. And we're multiplying that by 1. So the unit vector is 1, the angle is 30. So our force, okay, so we're looking at a vector, okay, that here is going to project the force onto V. So this is going to be our vector, which is perpendicular. So we need to find, so we're going to use a projection of the force onto V, and we're going to use this equation. So if we substitute in our values, so the force, we said this was 0 minus 3000, and it's minus 3000 because it is negative, it's actually going down. So this is going to be 0 minus 3000 multiplied by what we just calculated. So this is going to be 3 over 2, comma, a half. And this is all over our unit vector V, which is 1 squared. And it is multiplied by V. And V is 1. So it's multiplied by, oops, multiplied by 1. Just put that in brackets. So 
we can zero times root three over two is zero. And then minus 3000 multiplied by a half. This is minus 1500. Okay, we've multiplied by one. So this is 1500. Now we can't have a negative here. So we've got minus W. This is going to be minus 1500. So this is going to make this positive. And the units we're using is pounds. So to stop this car here, so the force of the car to stop this rolling down the hill, we need to use 1500 pounds of force push in, so this is push in towards the hill, so force push in towards the hill to stop the car rolling down.